I know that there are objections to it, but here's why I think it's a good deal. One of the great concerns that the opposition has is that uh, we are leaving open a lane for the Iranians to go back to creating a nuclear weapon in 10 or 15 years. But we're forgetting the reality that they have been on a super highway for the last 10 years to create a nuclear weapon or a nuclear weapons program uh, with no speed limit. And in the last 10 years, they've gone from 136 centrifuges up to something like 19,000 centrifuges. This agreement will bring them down to 5,000 centrifuges. All of these will be under IAEA supervision. And I think this is a good outcome. I think they will find over time, if it unfolds the way it is designed to unfold, they will see that they have been made more secure by derailing this Iranian nuclear program. And we also have to keep in mind that uh, we are in this with a number of other countries. All of the ones that have worked with us, China, Russia, Germany, France, Britain, uh, they have already agreed to it. The British Foreign Secretary was already in Iran last week with a trade delegation. And so even if we were to kill this deal, which is not going to happen, uh, it's going to take effect anyway because all of these other countries that were in it with us are going to move forward. The UN is going to move forward. And, and 100 nations have already agreed to the, uh, this deal, thinking it's a good deal. And they're all going to be moving forward. We're going to be standing on the sidelines, operate fully with the inspectors. Now, people will say, no, you can't trust them. I don't trust them. I say we have a deal. Let's see how they implement the deal. If they don't implement it, bail out. None of our options are gone. None of our options are gone. But this is something we ought to pursue and try to make it happen under the terms uh, under which the deal was reached.